Well, while we're on Grizzly Flat Road right now, and like you said, we have seen those agencies up and down this road racing up to the fire. Right now where we're at is where some evacuees have been waiting it out. Some of them, Walt, all night sleeping in their cars. Now we're down here because crews, fire crews had us come down here. We were up further closer to the area where the fire is burning, but they told us that hot spots were jumping quickly. There was something that we saw. They got us out of there for safety and they got some of their fire crews out for safety as well. We'll take you to some of the video we shot in that area just before we were asked to come down here for our safety. You'll see some of the haze and smoke that is filling the area. And as I was driving up here, you definitely saw that massive plume of smoke that this fire is creating being seen from all throughout our area. Now this morning we have also seen people helping other people. One man has taken several horses that aren't his to safety at the Amador County Fairgrounds, which has been set up for large animals. And we also got to speak with one woman who was evacuated. She told us her incredible story about why a scene like this is tragically all too familiar for her. Take a listen to what she had to say to us. December uh, 21st, 2019, um, we had a house in Polk Pines. It had electrical fire and we lost everything. So this is like fire after fire after fire and we, we've had enough of it. <laughs> Understandably so. Now she tells us that they moved to Washington after that, but since came back here to California, she says that it is their home. And despite going through this again, they have no regrets. They love their mountain community. Now the El Dorado County Sheriff's Office has issued new evacuation orders for the Sly Park area and a warning for the Pollock Pines area. We still have evacuees here waiting for any kind of news. We hear now from the El Dorado National Forest that there have been some structures that have been damaged or destroyed. Some neighbors we spoke with say that they know of at least one, but as far as the number at this point, we just don't know because they can't get damage assessment crews up there because of the fire conditions. So we're going to stay out here monitoring what's going on, speaking with the neighbors and evacuees. We'll be sure to bring you the latest as we get it, but it is great to see the people coming together while some of them familiar with this, like we heard from that lady. Uh, but again, everyone working here just trying to find out any information they can now rob i know you're tracking the conditions mm -hmm. too this is just a fast dynamic growing fire unbelievable